Hello, Vettel121 here. Welcome back, and we are uh, Let's Playing Final Fantasy IV The After Years. And in between episodes, I farmed for a Treasure Hunter version 2 from a behemoth, and it was a huge pain in the ass just to get one. I'm gonna try and go back and get more, but for right now, I'm not gonna worry about it. And whoop! Secret passage. Yep, secret passage here. And yes, we're in the developer's office. The real developer's office, finally. God, you found us. Well, here you are. The legendary developer's office. Thank you so much for f playing Final Fantasy IV The After Years all the way to this point. Yeah, you better thank me. Those chapters were a huge pain in the ass. We're all huge fans of Final Fantasy IV, so making a sequel that everyone would be able to enjoy kept us excited day in and day out. Here, let me give you a little taste of excitement for yourself. Alright, he gives us a lustful lolly ho, very nice. I'm glad I talked to you. A lustful lolly ho is gonna come in very handy shortly. Thanks a lot everybody. Doing PR for this game has been a great opportunity. Not that the game needed any PR, but it would have it would have been a huge hit regardless. Yeah, I don't know if it's a huge hit. It actually got really bad reviews, but Whatever. Ooh, look at this. Uh-oh, what are they gonna do? Here we go, the band Lonely Developer. And failed. <laughs> right. Goodbye. The world is just full of those moments when you're just like, you gotta be kidding me. Like when you mess up when you mess something up or when something unbelievable happens. Or when the face of that guy or character across from you turns red at the sight of you. You gotta be kidding me. What? Oh, I know. I know all too well. What the hell? How I've got... How I've dreamt of the day that... Wait. What? This shit doesn't make any fucking sense. Seriously. This is crap. Yeah, okay, what do you have to say? That man is the only one who can call me a pig. Period. Right. Right then. Okay. And apparently those two have nothing to say at all. Tails? What are you talking about? Why don't you just give me the damn items? Why do I have to give you fucking tails, you bastard? Oh, Faraga, huh? <laughs> That's it, huh? Yay, we got him. Whatever this guy is. Jeez, I told you that's not a tail. Does it look like it's coming out of my rear end? Uh, what? I have no idea. Isn't pixel art a wonderful thing? Which character sprite did you like the most? Hee hee hee. Uh, I'd say the biggest upgrade would be Seador, but whatever. Would you? Yeah, sure. Why not? Not again. Okay, here comes the QA team instead. Uh, I'm ready, give me a little haste. Okay, good job there. Yeah, how can you use black magic? You're a monk. More Faraga, huh? Do -do 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 -do. Okay. Apparently, we can't hit these guys. Weird. Oh, well, whatever. I'll take care of this. Oh, thanks. Yeah. 
I I don't understand. What is going on here? If that's how it's gonna be, I've got a great idea. Oh no, not that! You coward! You have to use your regular abilities on this. Right. Oh, here goes the debug commands. What? What the hell was the point of that? Good grief. And what's this? Nakahara? Able to, oh, I guess we're able to to hurt this this guy. I guess. An amazing attack! Just let me say one thing before I go. The adamantine pig lives. Wow. Boomer shall live. Wow. I don't even know what to say about that. The adamantine pig lives. <laughs> so you're gonna... Oh, you're gonna get married, huh? What? Oh... Do I really want to talk to these people? I gotta lose five more pounds. <laughs> Goodbye. You know how fast my facial hair grows? So fast I shave in the morning and already have a layer of stubble by dinner time. Not that you can tell from the sprite. Yeah, I really can't tell from the sprite. Um. Right. Back before we had all the sprites drawn, most of the characters would depict it with pig sprites. <laughs> right. Seeing pigs floating in the crystal chambers was pretty amusing, I have to admit. Yeah, that is pretty amusing that they, uh... What the hell? That is pretty amusing that they actually used pig sprites before they had all the character sprites drawn. That's probably the only sensical thing that they've said so far in this developer's room. Yes, the adamantine pig lives. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. Come on, really? I don't want to see that guy again, that's crap. Uh, it's been okay. I hope you're getting a lot to y I hope you're getting a lot of use out of them. No, actually I'm not. I don't like the bands. You know why? They take too long. They take way too long to use, most of them. Normally, it's just better not to use them. Uh... Yes, I guess. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Hey, buddy. Um... Sure. Okay. Wow, that was amazing. What do we do? What do we do to help out? <laughs> Oh. What the frick? Whoa. 
I haven't seen this guy. What the hell? Are you kidding me? Why am why are my characters dead almost here? Poison gas. Uh oh. Ugh, I can't work any longer. <laughs> what the hell, man? All our HP is one. What kind of crap is that? Must have been from helping that guy or something. Jeez. I'm gonna go up here now. And let's... Something stinks in here. Okay, this is... Interesting little pot right here. Now, uh, we can actually feed this pot Lustful Lolly Hose and get another item. And yes, we have to fight a game designer. Oh, that book! So yeah, let's fight the game designer. And this, this was my very own copy. Oh, this brings me back. Yes, that's right, my name is... Takashi Tokita. Uh, thanks. It's good to know. Imagine a day and age when... When you can make games without such... With, with such high resolution. Oh, well, yeah, I guess. And he gives us a lustful lolly ho. Okay, that's not what I wanted, game. Okay, rare band, rare band, rare band. Yeah, I only have one. Yeah, I have like rare bands pretty much almost all across the board. So damn it, give me my freaking crap. You're supposed to get a different item for beating this guy. Blah, 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 very own copy, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay. Okay, a discovery book. This is what we wanted. Now, the interesting thing about this, uh, this discovery book here is it will raise maximum MP by 50. So, yeah, that's really nice. And I can get three more of these with the three lustful lolly hoes that I have. And since Lenora is a mage and I'm going to be using her later and her magic points stink, I'm going to be giving these to Lenora, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and off-screen getting more Discovery books, and I'll be right back. Alright, next thing I'm going to be showing is uh, basically a way to encounter Flan Princesses in a certain area. Uh, pretty much guaranteed, uh, yeah, you, you might have to load and reload, or like shut off your game and then reload it every time you use this method. I found this method out kind of by myself. I didn't find it in like a fac or anything like that. But basically, what you want to do is load your game uh, at a certain save point during. Damn it! I don't want to see that cutscene again. Basically, you want to load your game during a full moon around the uh, the B5 area, the save point around the B5 area. Yeah, subterrain B5. And uh, I'll go over my equipment setups here in a second. And this is the way I fought the Flan Princesses when I first started fighting them. Right now, it doesn't really matter because I actually found something out. The ribbon and the pink armor do protect against Berserk. They do protect against Berserk. Uh, in the original game, the ribbon did not protect against the Berserk status. So that's been changed between the original game and this. Pink armor also uh, protects you from the Berserk status, which is... Uh, well, it's very, very good for fighting the uh, the Flan Princesses, and yeah, I have rare bands, and uh, well, yeah, I took I took my fourth rare band, the regular rare band, put that on a fourth character, and then Treasure Hunter version two, which I'll show the enemy you have to fight in order to actually uh, get those in a little bit here. But yeah, this is my equipment setups, of course, adamant shields all around, and of course, I've used different combinations of party members once I got better equipment. But yeah, two steps this way, and we're going to get attacked. Yeah, it's always going to be a black flan and a prokerite, or whatever the hell that thing is called. But yeah, you just want to run from that battle. And then we want to run over to this room over here. This room right here is where you can encounter the flan princesses during a full moon. Only during a full moon can you encounter the flan princesses. And yeah, guaranteed. Alright, yeah, these guys, well, they are annoying. But yeah, this is how I first started out fighting these guys. Uh, I do, come on, let's dance together. Yeah, they'll say they want to dance. 
Basically what I did was, is taunt with Golbez. Uh, you can equip a flan ring on Golbez. That way he takes less damage from uh, from these flan princesses. Because I believe it reduces the damage by 75%. At least that's what I noticed. But uh, yeah, I don't really need to use blink because my evasion is really, really high at this point. But uh, yeah, blink on Golbez. That's fine for now. Uh, just start attacking and then of course uh, use multi-targeting magic against these guys because it's pretty effective. Yeah, Cecil on that one. You don't really have to put Blink on Golbez, but I am because... Uh, um, well, he'll take less damage. I don't know why I did Taunt again there, but basically these guys are pretty easy as long as you have a character that can be immune to Berserk, and even then they're still pretty easy. Like if, uh, like earlier on when Golbez was actually Berserk, I, I would just use a Remedy on him and that would get rid of the Berserk status, and that's how I do Taunt, because these guys' attacks hurt a lot. They hit you with their physical attacks. So yeah, you wanna, wanna defend against that, obviously. And let's see, let's get to Ridia's turn here. Now, if these bastards drop a pink tail, I'm going to be extremely pissed. Yeah, as you can see, their physical attacks do hit pretty hard. Before, they were actually hitting a lot harder than that, but Golbez has pretty good armor now, so I'm not too concerned about that. And yeah, I guess I can start. After your second multi targeting spell of Leviathan or Quake, like, I use Palm and Rydia a lot for fighting these guys. Uh, then you can just start using your regular attacks on them to take them out. Well, actually, you don't really need black magic once you get good equipment for these guys, but you do want to have protection against Berserk. It does help a lot. And then, of course, the Flan Ring helps a lot if you're designating a tank for this battle. And Golbez is really, really nice for fighting these guys because he has the Taunt ability. Yay, they're dead, and okay, yeah, you can get Pink Tails from those guys, and, uh, yeah, I do have one in my inventory that I recently acquired, yep, right here. So that'll be my, uh, fifth Pink Armor, so I'll go ahead and show that off now. Alright. Let's go to the Tail Collector, and let's talk to him. And yeah, there's a few other tails that I have that I forgot that I had. And uh, yeah, I have gotten a blue tail for the blue armor. I'll show that off for a second. Yeah, I haven't gotten a red tail yet. Uh, but yeah, I do have a black tail. And yeah, it'll trade us twin stars for that. So yeah, we obtained the twin stars accessory, which if you equip it on a character, they will use half the MP it requires to actually cast a spell in battle. So that's very nice. I don't know how much I'll use it, but it is very nice. And let's see, what else did we get here? Uh, not a black... Okay, yeah, Purple Tail. I've gotten two of those from an enemy I'm going to show off pretty soon. Yeah, I haven't gotten any of those. Uh, Ebony Tail is basically for the Taunt Ring, which is uh, basically if you equip it on a character, I think the enemy will just uh, target that character or something like that. I don't know. I, I, I probably won't even bother. Gray Tail is for rear rings. Uh, basically, rear rings uh, make it so your characters can do full damage from the back row. In my opinion, worthless. Gold Tail for uh, Guild Band version 2s, which will help you get more gill at the end of battles. And then the Rainbow Tail is for the limit ring, big whoop you do. And then, of course, the Pink Tail, which I might as well trade. Alright, and yeah, it, it didn't actually take me that long to get five pink armors. So yeah, if I have a full female party, like five female characters in my party with this pink armor, they should be freaking awesome. But anyways, let's go over the, uh, who's got the blue armor? Yeah, this blue armor right here, it's pretty damn good. 45 defense, 25 magic defense, strong against dragon machine and giant attacks. Very good armor, I think it's plus five to strength and stamina as well. Uh, the only thing that's bad about this armor is it's a minus 10 to evasion. And that's one of the reasons why I got the Adamant Shields, because uh, these Adamant Shields are really good as far as evasion, and that's why I wanted them for my mage-type characters as well. But anyways, uh, yeah, as far as the pink armor, yeah, it's 25 defense, 
uh, 10 magic defense, and it protects against status effects, kind of like a ribbon. And uh, but the but the biggest draw for this armor, the the best thing about this pink armor right here, 99 physical evasion and about 50% magic evasion. So yeah, if you couple that with the adamant shield, let's check Rose's stats here. As you can see, yeah, the, the evasion would have been maxed out with the pink armor anyways. But with the adamant shield equipped, she has 71% magic evasion. That is freaking phenomenal. That's really good. Yeah, and it looks like Rydia is just slightly higher, but that's probably from her other equips. But yeah, this combination for mages, pink armor with the adamant shield is probably, I mean, it's, it's damn good. It's really, really good. I mean, as far as uh, spells hitting your characters, it won't happen very often. Of course, there are some monsters that can use abilities or spells that um, cannot be blocked with evasion, but this is very, very nice right here. Pink armor, adamant shield for your mage-type characters. You know, if they're female, obviously uh, males cannot equip the pink armor. Uh, same is true for the uh, blue armor. Females cannot equip the blue armor. So, uh, there you go. That's pretty decent equipment there and I'm gonna be showing off the uh, behemoth next I think actually you know what I might as well just show the bestiary I might as well do that you know <clears throat> this is how you can find out what enemies drop what and let's see flan princess yeah okay and yeah let's see this flamehound one flamehound two there's like different versions of enemies in this in this game which is fucking stupid in my opinion because yeah, look at this. And they all have, like, different drops. No treasure. That one doesn't doesn't have anything. I, I, I don't know. I don't like that. But Flan Princess, yeah, as you can see, I've killed over 200 of them bastards. And, yeah, th that's what he can drop. I, I got a lot of Fuma Shurikens, and I didn't get any Elixirs. But, yeah, that's fine. I can, I can always buy Elixirs. But, yeah, you can get the uh, Pink Tail from this monster here. And let's see here, Behemoth, Behemoth, Behemoth. I'll be showing him off soon enough, but I want to show the bestiary entry here. Yeah, as you can see, there's like three different versions of Behemoths. There's the one that you can fight in a normal encounter with other monsters that doesn't drop a purple tail. There's another version that you actually encountered in Edge's tail that can drop the purple tail, but I don't advise trying to fight uh, the Behemoth in that tail because... You don't have any rare bands or treasure hunter bands or anything like that. Then of course there's the version that I'm going to show off next which basically has the same uh, drop list. So there you go. I'll be showing that off next. Alright, the next monster we're going to be showing off is the Behemoth version 3 and you can encounter this guy in the subterrain B7 during a new moon. But he can only be encountered in this room right here. This room right here where you get the Marasame is the only room uh, in this area where you can encounter the behemoth version 3 during a new moon and I'm just gonna run around until this guy appears hopefully hopefully he doesn't take too long come on attack attack already give me something jeez but yeah I haven't found any like guaranteed way to get this guy to appear like every time when you want to it's kind of it's pretty random but uh... Yeah, this guy drops purple tails. I'm just showing you where you can actually encounter this guy so you can farm for, for the tails. If if you so choose, I will be showing off all the other ways to encounter the special monsters that drop the certain tails. So, don't worry about that. I'll be showing that off soon enough. Or the rest of them. I'll probably end the episode after uh, after this, though. Because, yeah, if this, if this episode's a little bit longer, I apologize. But, yeah, all you gotta do is just run around in this room right here until he appears. I might, you know what, I'll just edit out uh, however long it takes for him to appear then. Alright, here we go. This is the monster we want. This is the Behemoth version 3. Don't ask me why they have three different versions of the same monster. It's bullcrap in this game. It makes it extremely confusing when you're trying to farm for stuff. It really does. Uh, but yeah, you don't want to use blad uh, magic or summons on this guy because he will, I think, counter with Maelstrom. Yeah, I have tried to use uh, Leviathan on this guy. He will counter with Maelstrom, which is annoying. And he does counter all attacks 
like physical attacks. I could use Blink for this battle, but I'm not even going to bother because his attacks aren't really going to hit that hard. So, might as well just go with Taunt. Yeah, Golbez is really, really good for these battles right here because he can draw the enemy's attacks away from the other characters with his Taunt ability. But yeah, you know what, I'm not even going to bother. I'm just going to kick this thing's ass. And this guy has pretty high accuracy too because my evasion is pretty high. Although it's not high enough to hit Rosa right now. Yeah, my, my female characters, they should have really, really high evasion, which is good because they're mages. So yeah, I, I will be trying to farm for more blue armor. Although it's been a, really a kind of a pain in the ass. But yeah, that's the Behemoth version 3. That guy can drop Purple Tails to get Treasure Band version 2s. And that is all for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV The After Years. In the next episode, I'll be showing off more rare monsters and the tales they can drop. This is Vital121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.